Cancer, what's going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what is going on with you for the month of June 2019. Yes, indeed. Shout out to all of you guys for clicking this video. What's up? What's up? What's up? You guys, I'm not going to go into the long intro like I did with the other videos about the Patreon because as some of you know, I have like a pull muscle in my back. So I'm just not feeling too good. So I'm about to just get right on in. Um, just know that I do have a Patreon. We have a new deck and some brand new stuff that's about to roll out. Um, we're going to be getting to some sex lies and, and, and secrets with this new deck that I have here that's a little bit too explicit for YouTube here. As you can see, it's a little bit too explicit. So we're going to be having some grown folks conversations over there. Um, is If y'all are some of my OGs and y'all remember when I used to do the free live readings on YouTube, it's going to be a membership program where it's like for the people that can't afford the monthly readings, you guys can do the membership program for $1.99 for just the general admission where... um. You know, I'm going to go through and I'm going to hop on and we're going to do live readings. And then um, we're going to do some chats about discussions about, you know, stuff that's been coming out in collective readings. Um, it's going to be really, really cool, trust to believe. Then on the $4.99 tier, um, that's when you guys are going to be able to call in and do phone call readings. You know what I'm saying? And you'll be able to interact and talk with me on the phone. You'll see me live on camera doing your reading. And then we'll have people in the queue. And we'll be doing readings like that on that platform as well as the explicit adult content stuff. So it's going to be really cool. I'm going to um, put a... Um, video out to announce when I'm ready and up and running. Y'all probably see me running some tests with the Patreon next week. So I will let you guys know when everything is up and running. And I said I wasn't going to do the long intro and I did it anyway. Anyway, so um, shout out to, to everyone who clicked this video. If you want to book a personal private reading. Oh my God, my shoulder. Um, All you got to do is click the about tab. All my links is there. You book with me, then link with me. Book and then link. My booking link is Scorpion Red Tarot and simply book me. Select the type of reading that you want. Then my Instagram link is directly under that. Then send me a message after you book and say, hey, this is so-and-so. I booked with you at this time. Um, and then we'll link up on Instagram to do the video chat for your live reading. Um, if you don't have Instagram or prefer not to use your Instagram for the um, video reading, you can use Google Hangouts and my email address for how you contact me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me a message there after you book and then we can connect there for the reading. If you guys don't want to, you know, be live on um, camera with me and if you just want me to record a video upload, a private upload to YouTube. There is an add-on in the menu for when you purchase your reading. So you can purchase that add-on as you know with your reading. And then instead of you guys getting on camera with me, you can message me your question. And make sure when you message me your question, you only tell me what you want to know. Don't tell me the situation surrounding why you're asking the question because I don't want you to say I just told you that. So make sure that you Message me on whichever platform that you want to link up with me on. Send me the message. And then once I record your video in about uh, 24 to 48 hours, you'll have your video sent to that platform and we'll be good to go. And also you can use that add-on if you want a video recap of your reading. If you want me to record your whole experience and upload a private video of your reading um, to YouTube so you can look back at it forever, forever, ever, you can feel free to do that. Um, and you can use that add-on um, for that as well to purchase a recap. So, let's get into, oh, if there's anyone who would like to send any love and light to the page, thank you guys so much for all of the love and support. We just got a new love oracle deck, thanks to you guys, and the love through PayPal that we will be using today. As you guys see, we'll be using this. I believe this is just called the love oracle deck. Um, as y'all know, we got a new Game of Thrones deck. Um, we got a numerology deck. I just got this Zen Tarot deck that we'll be using. We got tea leaf through. Um, you guys send a love through PayPal. So if you guys want to send some love and support through the page, just to say thank you if these videos have been helping you, and you just or you have a particular deck that you have in mind. Um, a lot of you guys have been emailing me. If y'all don't see a certain deck that y'all want to see used on the page i've been emailing me and saying hey res do you like this deck i'm like yeah and i'm like okay add it to the wish list and i add it and then y'all just been 
been amazing just something sending amazing support to the page so just thank you guys so much and if you want to send some love and support just to say thank you or just send some love to the page um my amazon wish list and my paypal is in the description and in the about tab all right let's get into the reading Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. Thank you so much, Father God. I feel like we are in a place of just, you know, reclaiming our joy. I feel like we're going out dancing, having a good time. I feel like cancer is really, um, it's like the prep rally for cancer season. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like y'all on some prep rally shit. Y'all ready to turn up. You know, it's feeling good outside. Y'all know how y'all do. Um, y'all like, you know, y'all on y'all social butterfly type of stuff right now. So I'm glad that cancer is feeling happy. I really do feel I feel rejoiced. I feel like cancer finally feels free. I deserve finally feel free. Rejoice. Okay, so I'm with you on that cancer. Go ahead and do your damn thing. Do your damnedest. Father God, please give us guidance for the sign of cancer. Please give us more information and how to you know to touch our soul's deepest desire how to you know move past thresholds where we've been having a hard time to push through father god please continue to give us courage um you know this is you know uh we just had the gemini full moon not, uh the other day so you know right now it's about communication um and speaking our truths and 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 letting the truth come out and just set free you know what i'm saying so father god allowed us to set free the truth stand in our truth so help us god and just like if people don't like it that's their thing you know what i'm saying that's not our problem you know what i'm saying we gotta live in our light and we gotta live in our state of abundance and truth and freedom so father god thank you so much for elevating us and helping us you know move forward in our life and finding our true purpose Thank you so much, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of cancer for June 2019. And thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give my cancers guidance for June. All right. Let's see what we got. Cancer. Cancer. What's the answer? Mm-hmm. I think that's about to be our phrase. Cancer. What's the answer? Because one thing I could say about cancer, a cancer is a good friend. When it comes down to needing someone to listen to you and have your back and, and, and things like that, ain't no friend like a cancer. Oh, yes, I feel spirit there big time. What's going on? Support. And that just came out in the reverse. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe some cancers is feeling lack of support right now. I feel like y'all need some rest. Y'all just want rest. It says support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. Yes. I f right now, it's just like truly, you guys feel like y'all don't have the support that you need, but you do. I, I, I want you guys to realize that God has taken control of the situation, even though if things in your life feel like they've been a little haywire, um, things are breaking down and dismantling because God has something new that they are planning to gift you. And it's time for you to really, because cancers have a hard time releasing and letting go of things that they know of just dead things. Like, they're like just carrying around dead weight. It's like, baby, let go of things that you need to let go. And I feel like maybe y'all have, y'all been trying to let go. Y'all been trying I feel like y'all are just tired. <laughs> y'all are tired. Y'all are tired. Y'all just want to go to sleep and just rest. And just, y'all tired. Y'all exhausted. I feel like y'all just went through something very exhausting. And you just want to rest. And God is saying to ask for help, baby. And nurture yourself. Cancer, please make sure that you're taking care of yourself. And that's why I really I feel like that that um support was in the, the reverse because i feel like y'all not taking care of yourself but y'all not getting help and y'all probably not asking for help but it's like y'all want support so bad but it's like you gotta open up your mouth and you really gotta talk and i just heard I, I am asking but it's like you gotta ask and then you gotta rest you can't ask and then still worry when you ask for support, you got to know that you're supported. You got to know that everything is 
the king of cups in reverse there you go so there's a cancer man like i feel like right now he just feels very insecure just about where things is going on in life right now i just feel like everything is being fucking hey why you're and just they just a little bit emotionally unraveled right now it's just i mean and i can't i can understand it's just like I don't know where the, where the fuck my life is going right now. I don't know how to think. I don't know how to feel. I don't feel comfortable showing anybody truly what's going on inside of me. I feel like y'all don't have anyone. That's why this was in the reverse. Like I feel like y'all don't. That key person. I feel like you, you see. He don't even want to hold his emotions right there. You see his face is just like. And you see the water in the background. It's real choppy. It's like you don't even want to deal with your emotions right now. And that was in the reverse. That was in the reverse. Let me guidance for my cancers. Black buried in masses. King of Swords. Are right, you ain't dealing with your emotions, but you is grabbing your sword to cut motherfuckers off. <laughs> <laughs> y'all is so fucking crazy <laughs> look 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 he like he like man i don't like the way i'm feeling this shit making me feel insecure this shit is making me feel too emotional grab my soul hand me my soul <laughs> i'm just about to just cut this shit the fuck off because i, I it's like listen it, it's somebody somebody They just don't feel supported. They don't feel supported. They feel off balance. The Wheel of Fortune. Come on, Cancer. The Death card. In reverse, y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. The Page of Pentacles. Ooh, you're trying to end heartache. Ace of Pentacles. Come out. Woo! There y'all go with that attention again. Y'all always want that fucking attention. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry, let me stop. Nah, fuck that shit. I love me a motherfucking cancer. One of the truest loves of my life was a fucking cancer. So fuck that shit. As long as I can get that. As long as cancer ain't like this, fuck that shit. Crown that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Cause when it when a cancer man is good. And he's standing on his truth and he know and he being an honest man, a good man, and he in a high vibration man shit. You can have all of me, okay? Take all A of me. I just wanna be the girl you like. A the girl you like. A take all of me. I just wanna be the girl you like. Uh, the kind of girl you like is right here with me. So let me stop. Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. Okay, I'm sorry. This ain't my reading. This is not my reading. Let me calm the fuck down. Anyway. Only thing I'm saying. What I'm saying. What I'm trying to relay is to you. Cancer, you need to get your emotions together. Because this is a cancer man. This is a dominant male energy and i feel like you guys are a fighter you guys don't like to deal y'all do not like being in any place where you guys feel like you're emotional you're 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 just hold on that's right that's love when it comes you never want to give it up I'm sorry, like, every time, like, I always, every time that song come on, sometimes it always catches my ear. Um, y'all guys might be, like, I want you to wait, want you to wait that I want you and more. Like, y'all might be, like, in love with somebody. We gonna see what the fuck is going on in love, though. But it's something, it's something that you want to turn around in your fortune. You want new beginnings. I feel like you want to be acknowledged. You want people to see you for the true good person that you are. Because you really are a good person. I just feel like you guys just don't know how to deal with y'all 
emotion sometimes you don't know how to show emotion sometimes and I feel like that confuses people and it confuses you because you don't like being in a place where you feel emotionally vulnerable I feel like the only thing you want is to feel victorious and you want to feel celebrated but at the same time when you guys are in this place of this emotional insecurity and just, you know, not wanting to feel anything, y'all's whole thing is to wall people out and cut motherfuckers out. You know what I'm saying? And just move on to the next chapter and go on to the next thing. But you have to deal. You need to be emotionally alert. You need to be able to feel your emotions. Like, why are you scared to feel your emotions? That's my thing. Look, there's no running when it's your turn. Just let it burn. Just let it burn, baby. It is no running when it's your turn. When true love gets you, <clears throat> when it gets you, you know, and I feel like you guys run from true love. You guys run from true love. When someone really gets you in your heart, when them feelings tearing you apart, that's right, that's love. When it comes, you never want to give it up. You never want to give it up. I feel like that shit is something about y'all expressing and showing people y'all heart. Y'all get scared and y'all just cut motherfuckers out. I want to address that, but I also want to say that there is something or someone that you're emotionally involved with that you're definitely cutting out of your life because you want good fortune to come back to you. It's just like you're tired of unpredictable bullshit in your life and you just want a fixed energy of just wealth prosperity and good fortune it's like i've been at the bottom i've been struggling i've been dealing with a whole bunch of bullshit it's just been a whole bunch of it's been a whole bunch of mistakes i'm just hearing and there's something or someone in your atmosphere that i, I feel like the situation was knocking on death's door. Okay? And maybe death did come and visit this situation. Okay? Because you see the Grim Reaper coming through. Because like I said, God giveth and God taketh away. Because at the end of the day, if you don't know what the fuck you want. Right? You don't know what you want. You don't know how to act. You don't know how to be. You don't know how to see. Right? Right? Only thing you want to do is is is, is cut out and, 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 and shake foot, right? You want to cut yourself out of this situation, shake your foot off and, 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 and foot loose out here. You know what I'm saying? God give it from God, take it for away. It was something that God took away from you. I feel like that you don't want to end. There's something that you cutting out because you're moving towards fortune. You're moving towards fortune and fame. <laughs> You're moving towards fortune and fame and new beginnings. But it's something that you lost in the battlefield that you, I feel like you're moving back. Do you, you see how this looks like? You see? It's something that, okay. Look, 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 look at me. 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 Okay. Okay. So it's something that you feel insecure. Looks like you feel lost. It's an emotional void, right? So it was something that you grabbed your sword, you cut out because you wanted to move towards fortune. But the death, the death card is moving towards that fort. You see what I'm saying? It's going that way. It's not going that way. And the reverse is going that way. You see what I'm saying? So what I am getting here. You don't feel right. Certain shit you had to cut out. You ready for the fortune to come. There's something that was cut out that you're not ready for it to end. And you need to move back towards that. Because you feel like it will give you good fortune. You feel like it was something that could have grown if you would have put more time and attention into it. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> if you would have put more time and attention to it and this is you realizing that you might need to go back to the drawing board and you know try a different approach of replanting a seed and trying to make it grow 
probably on a brand new different playing field. You see? Because you've already experienced the heartbreak from this. Like I said, this is something that already left your life. This is something that already left your life that you ever want to revive the dead or you or it's or you feel like it that the chapter isn't all the way closed. It's something where a chapter isn't all the way closed. Or is or you're trying to revive the dead. Okay. You already experienced this heartbreak. It looks like your heart is healed. I feel like there is there's still three elements there. There's still three elements there. Okay, there's still three elements there. Still three elements there. However, it might just be saying that, you know, it was death looming around the situation from the beginning. I feel, okay, this is what it's saying. It's saying from the onset of whatever this relationship was or whatever this situation that never really, it's like it never really got off of the ground because it was already a third party there. From the beginning before the heart even got pierced. You see what I'm saying? And it's like you know that. And it was like death was already looming around it. To begin with. Like it wasn't. It wasn't going to go anywhere. To begin with. So I feel like. That's why this cancer. Or whoever this is dealing with this cancer. Maybe they feel like that's where the support is or something like that. Yeah, that's where the support is. That's where the support is. It's moving backwards. Because it's like, do you see this pinnacle is being, this person has a hand on it and this person has a hand on it. I feel like this is a situation where they know this, it'll be held by both hands, by both parties. Like, it'll really... And, and this is the, the this is the situation where they felt celebrated, where they felt acknowledged, where they felt valued, they felt like a winner. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I just want to make sure I'm not tripping because their whole thing is is about lack of support, and it's definitely something that. It's definitely something that they don't want to end anymore. They don't want it to end anymore. They don't want it to end or they're trying to revive the dead. And the death is moving towards the will of fortune. The seed wasn't planted correctly because it was already death looming around it from the beginning. Before the heart even got pierced, it was like dead on arrival. Because of the surrounding situation, because there was already three elements there from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So this person wants to go back to the drawing table, replaying this situation so it could grow correctly. Because it was doomed. It was already doomed. But this is the place where they feel they had that ace of pentacles. This is the place where they felt supported. This is the place where they felt acknowledged. This is the place that they felt accepted. Like fully accepted. Like they felt like all of this. Like they felt this person celebrated their accomplishments. This person. Felt victorious there. And you see this yard. You know what I'm saying. I want to say it felt like home if or, or they wanted to grow. Like it's like they want to grow a new home, a new environment. They want the house with the picket fence. They want the new job. They want, it's like cancer want everything from scratch. From scratch. From scratch. From scratch. Because they want to be successful this time. When this, when this one in. They want to be successful this time. When this story, this chapter of this story ends, it's going to end with success. You see what I'm saying? Because right now, it's not feeling successful. They feel confused. They feel... It's, it's, it's like they feel insecure. They, I feel like they don't... They And it's because they don't have any support. They don't have any support. And they're going to cut out certain shit that is just like... 
not benefiting them no more and moving towards their fortune. It was something that ended that should have never ended. They needed to plant the seed correctly this time. And not have death looming. You know what I'm saying? Not 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 come not come to the situation dead on arrival. They know better this time. They want a solid, strong future. Solid, strong future that both can have and hold. You feel what I'm saying? Both can have and hold forever. Forever. Success. Victory. Wow, that's what's up. Come on, Cancer. Okay, let's go here. I just looked over there. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. This is like no love. Love right now. We need to do love. All right, let's just see what this says. E say... Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. This just came out for, okay. And then shit, y'all might be dealing with a Gemini. This just came out for Gemini. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and embrace. Love is the greatest healer. I feel like whoever this is that you're dealing with, there were it might 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 have been a Gemini. What am I seeing here? I definitely see a lot of air. I see a lot of air. I see Scorpio twice. Yeah, I see. And then I'm seeing okay, okay. Well, I see everybody. I see everybody. But I'm seeing I'm seeing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, and I see the ones too. I mean, I see everybody here. I see everybody here. I see everybody. But mainly a lot of air. Excuse me. Mainly a lot of air. So, oh, no, I want some more. Give me some additional guidance for my cancers. It says embrace. Through each other, you find missing pieces. Embrace. Through each other, you find missing pieces. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So I feel like whoever this person is that you truly love, Cancer, the one that you truly love, the one that you feel honored and accepted by, um, I feel like you guys, especially if it's something that you're trying to revive from the, from the dead, I feel like... Um, Criticizing each other and playing the blame game isn't really going to help y'all bring each other together. I feel like y'all, if anything, you should try to come into the situation with joy and laughter and just because it says embrace through each other. You find missing pieces. I feel like whoever this person is that you truly love is the one that helped you grow and learn so much about yourself and maybe that's why you feel so insecure and you feel so emotional like that because maybe you feel like the, a piece of your heart is like God through each other you find missing pieces like I feel like you feel like there's a missing piece and a lot of it has to do with playfulness and laughter like I feel like you miss the playfulness, you miss the laughter, you miss, you miss, you miss that. Give me guidance for my cancers, please. Discontent and boredom. Yeah, your foundation is off. Yeah, like I said, there's no laughter, there's no love, there's, <laughs> like, there's no laughter, there's no love. You feel discontent and bored and you're tired of it and I feel like you're ready to, like, take hold of your foundations like you want joy in your life you want support crown chakra 
in the reverse, I feel like you don't you don't understand why it had to be this way. I feel like there's with that seven. Ooh, with that number seven, there's no peace, there's no harmony. You know where your the your ooh, you know where your destiny is, you know where your heart is, you know where your heart is. And that number ten, that's finality, that's like the ending, the ending of something. You know, you know where your heart is. And you're suffering in silence. Yeah. You tired of I feel like you're tired of suffering in silence. You're not having no harmony. You're not having no peace. Um, you're tired of being withdrawn. You're tired of contemplating. Um It's like I feel like it's something that you just don't understand. And I feel like you're not going to be able to understand it until you could get to that missing piece. You're, 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 I feel like you, you got to talk. You got to talk. Because you're suffering in silence. And it's like you know you know where your destiny is. Like Cancer, you know where your destiny is. You know where your heart is. But you, I feel like you got to talk to this person because all of these swords up here is like it's that's communication and i feel like you it is it's like i don't know if you're scared of communication or something i feel like you're you possibly might be scared to talk about this third party situation or whatever led to this heartbreak you know because i it's like yeah, maybe this person seems healed from it and it's like God, I don't want to bring it back up type of thing like that um, maybe that's why they're saying like I don't know I just feel like cancer is tired of suffering in silence and it's like they're grabbing their heart and it's like you know I feel like they're not going to be able to fully understand their destiny until they face their destiny. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I don't know. If, you know, it's like that 10, that finality is like you, you have to face it. Like, because you're tired of sitting around and I don't feel like you will ever understand this situation. You will never understand this situation until like you go to your final destination. That's what that meant. Oh, my God. Because it's like, you know, death is your final destination, right? And it's like, the death card is right there, but it's like they're not ready to face that death yet. They're not ready to face that death yet. Or they're trying to revive the dead. Like I said, it's like they're trying to revive the dead. To face their final destination. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Let me shut the fuck up. Anyway, let me shut the fuck up. Because I'm like, I don't know if you're making any sense at all. But I feel like I am. It's like, in order for this person to... And I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep repeating myself. In order for this person to figure out their destiny, I feel like... They got to go back to... The root of the problem. Final destination. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to go back to the final destination to revive the dead. To like face. Face. I don't know. It says, look, it's probably telling me to take a shot. It's the, no, and then cancer, y'all don't need to take a fucking shot. No, I, I don't agree with this, no. No, no, we're saying no, no, okay, all right, fine. Let me not go against spirit. Listen, it's saying, look, cancer, take a shot, okay? You going through some tough shit. Yeah, because I'm going through some tough shit even trying to explain what the fuck it is. I'm trying to, I, it's like you don't know what you're feeling, and I, I, I'm trying to understand what you're feeling, but it's so confusing. It's like so confusing. I mean, it's not, but it is. It's like because you don't understand. So how the fuck can I understand if you don't understand? And it's like you just suffer in silence. But it's 
It says everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Get your tired ass up and handle this shit. All right. And it says don't take 12 shots. Take one. Okay. Maybe two shots and move on. Okay. You going through some tough shit. Take a shot. All right. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Get your gather your tired ass up and handle it. All right. Gather your tired ass up and handle that shit. And stop suffering in silence. You know, stop suffering in silence. No, this need to go right here. Because it's saying, um, <laughs> you're bored and shit. It's saying, take a shot. Suffering in silence. You're going through some tough shit. Get up and handle that shit. What is it saying? Oh, oh. It says, don't let your issues fuck it up. Because it's like you, I feel like y'all are going back towards y'all destiny. Y'all the final destination. That's it. Y'all are going back to your final destination. Because you was at your final destination. But I feel like you fucked it up. And it's dead. And you pulling the, you revive, you pulling it back the light. And go back to your final destination. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Some good shit is about to happen. Ooh, cancer. Let me put that right there on your destiny, baby. Go ahead now. Go the fuck on ahead. Okay. Okay. Now, let me get into the dirt with y'all because I just did that with the motherfucking Gemini's because Gemini had a, whoo, honey, their goddamn reading was hun to the T-E-E. -E. Because I want to find out why are you suffering in silence? So we're going to go into the darkness. Brother darkness, okay? Brother darkness. We're going to go into the darkness, okay? Why do you feel this lack of support and why are you suffering in silence? Father God, please give me guidance because cancer would never tell us. Because you know they like to suffer in silence, okay? Tell us what's going on with cancer. Why are they suffering in silence? Why do they feel this lack of support, Father God? Please give us guidance so we can help the cancers. Thank you. Give us guidance. Why are they suffering in silence? Why do they feel this lack of support? Oh, they just feel misguided. They just feel misguided. They felt misguided. I feel like they, they thought they seen the light. You know what I'm saying? They thought that they seen the light. Cancer might be watching someone. Yeah, because the situation is stagnant and it's like shocking to them. They're watching this person because the, the situation with them is stagnant, is stagnant and they just can't. It's like they're just shocked beyond belief that this situation is the way that it is. And it's like embarrassment embarrassment I felt but this is in the reverse that's like they don't want to face you because they don't want to feel this embarrassment and then envious and they go that skull and they go the mermaid the water mm. I feel like there might be some envy Cause it's like it's like this part. This cancer felt misguided. They followed the light, and I felt like they they followed. They just felt misguided. They followed the wrong light. You know what I'm saying? The, they followed a, a light that led them nowhere. And I feel like right now, only thing that they can do is sit and look at you. Like, but and and, and this cancer has been watching you. They've been watching you because y'all situation is stagnant and I don't feel like they don't know how to get out of this stagnicity. Only thing that they can, like, they can't talk to you. Only thing that they can do is watch you. You see what I'm saying? And I, I think that it's like they're beyond shocked. It's like they, they cannot, they can't, they can't believe it, that this is where it is right now. They're embarrassed. They're beyond be embarrassed, and, they're, and there's envy there. Cause like maybe 
this mermaid has floated off without them and they're just like this mermaid is just fine or something and it's like they're envious like how could you be okay without me type of thing like that you know what i'm saying yeah they feel like a loss of power they're envious because there's no they don't have any more power in this situation with this person anymore i feel like the only thing they can do is sit back and look at them now i love oh y'all hear the song in the back i love you like you I give you things you didn't even know you wanted. Don't tell me that it's not enough. Our time is up. You're over us. Cause I think I might do anything for you if you just let me. Listen, cancer ain't playing. If you just let me. See, I don't even feel like singing right now, boy. If you just let me. Y'all hear that cancer saying, listen. I'll give you things you didn't even know you wanted. Don't tell me that our time is up. You're tired of us. You're over us. Because I think I might do anything for you if you just let me. You hear me? And look, right, right there. Time is slipping right there. Time is slipping, Cancer. Time's a wasting. Don't you waste your time, young man. You keep on drifting. Ain't no telling where you land. Oh, right. Let's find out what's going on with these cancers in love. What is going on with these cancers in love, Father God? Give me guidance. See, I'll give you things you didn't even know you wanted. Because I think I might do. Ooh. They're enchanted by you. Mm. If you just let me. Mm. Eight, eight, eight. It says new opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. But this was in the reverse. Wow. Let me see why. Force. Hmm. Ooh, snake. Beard in reverse. Freedom. And they go that rose again. Don't tell me that it's not enough. Time is up. Me over. See, I always end up doing this shit. End up read. Okay, so I'm gonna end up reading out the whole fucking deck. Okay, whatever. And then right under this is the fucking knife. Sever. Oh my Jesus. Okay, I ain't trying to read this whole deck out because I know all of this gonna make good sense to me, and I'm gonna end up doing that, and I ain't got time for it. All right. So what I'm trying to say is, there's a situation in love with cancer where they feel like the time is almost up, like, and they just can't sit on it no more. Like they can't sit on it no more. Whoever this is that they love, they really love this person. And they really are still enchanted by this person. They still love this person. Like I said, they're still looking at this person. They're still looking at this person. But they feel like for some reason, new opportunities and abundance hasn't been coming to them. And like it hasn't been coming to them. And I feel like it's been forced. It's been forced. It's been hammered to the by force now to like stop biting the forbidden fruit. I feel like it had to be hammered in their head, you know, after that they need to stop dealing with the forbidden. I feel like that's it. I feel like it's something the forbidden and then and then the beard is here and listen I I And I'm sorry, and y'all know, I, I told you, I'm not going to hold y'all whenever I see this beard card up. Y'all know that I, I'm not going to hold y'all. Whenever I see this motherfucking beard card right here, there is someone that is in a down low relationship. There's someone in a down low relationship. This is in the reverse. And it's... it's, it's, it's 
I feel like it's been hammered into their skull almost to just stop being a snake and dealing with the forbidden. It's like it's something that they're doing that is like it's forbidden. And they're, and, and they're using people they're using people as a cover up to hide their behavior. You see what I'm saying? I'm, 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 listen, and y'all already know what I said about that. There is someone for everybody, you know? There's somebody for everybody. You don't have to hide. You don't have to be a snake. And if this is who you truly are, if you're bisexual, because I feel like this is someone that might be bisexual. Because this is someone that's enchanted with someone. But yeah, it's like it's like they're enchanted with someone, but new opportunities and things are not coming their way. It's because it's being hammered into their head to stop dealing with the forbidden. Stop. You need to be mature. It's like this says maturity at the bottom. You need to grow up and be mature and deal with this a better way. It's like you don't have to. And it ain't even that it's forbidden. I feel like what is forbidden is you using beards. It's like you using people to cover up something that you feel like is a, is a forbidden thing to do. Do you see what I'm saying? And I feel like spirit is hammering this into your head. And, 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 and you know, so that might not be for everyone. And that, and that beard card could just might mean that you know like spirit is hammering it into y'all head to stop being a, a, a snake and be mature just mature period but when i see that beard card y'all already know what i'm gonna say and i'm not even about to play with y'all because these are people lives out here you know what i'm saying i can't sit around here like i keep telling y'all i'm pussy foot and pussy willow around and not tell y'all what the fuck i'm seeing because i, I don't want to be you know, controversial. No, fuck that shit. Because this shit could be saving someone's life. Because you don't never know. If this person is in a marriage or in a commitment. And they're married to a female. But they out there having sex with someone else. You know. And they're living the down low lifestyle. And they might not be using protection or whatever the fuck. And they're cheating with men and women. And then shit, the woman know that this motherfucker's cheating. But don't know who the fuck they're cheating with. Probably don't have no idea that the reason why they're so closed off to them. And being so mean to them in the house. And so closed off to them. And, and like the woman's probably trying to figure out, well, what the fuck did I do? You didn't do nothing. This person is living a lie. This person is snaking around. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like maybe someone is being forced out the closet or something. I don't know what the fuck this means right here. But it's like... And then the next thing you know, the only thing the woman knows is that she don't feel supported at home. She don't feel love at home. And the next thing you know, she's cheating. So now y'all just have this big cesspool of fucking cheating with no one's using protection. Everyone's swapping bodily fluids. And God knows what the fuck is brewing around right there. All because someone trying to hide a lifestyle that they feel is forbidden. When it ain't forbidden, do what makes you happy. What is forbidden is you using people that you really don't want to be with to hide your lifestyle. That's when you become the snake. So I'm sorry. I mean, I got to address what's on the table. So we can move on though. But it's like, listen to the balloon. Freedom. Someone wants freedom from having to hide up, hide from behind a beard. They feel enchanted. You see what I'm saying? And this could be a male that is enchanted by another male or a woman that's enchanted by another woman. And they feel like new opportunities and abundance is not going to come their way until they be mature and free themselves from Feeling like they need to have cover-ups. You know what I'm saying? They're self-aware. They're spiritual now. They're intuitive. Like, 
They see life in so many different colors now. I feel like they're tired of living in someone's fucking box. Because at the end of the day, they're not able to feel love. They're not able to be the caring and compassionate person that they want to be. How the fuck can you be like that if you hiding? How can you be like that if you hiding? This spread might be for a particular somebody. Because I said we're going to go into the darkness. We're going to find out what's going on in the dark, didn't we? This might be one person that's dealing with all of this. You know? And this might be... You know? Because y'all know I read for everybody. Shit, I read for the hustlers. The <laughs> I read for everybody. A whole bunch of everything be coming out on my table, bruh. But listen, this is 666 in reverse. And y'all know that that doesn't mean the devil or anything like that. It means to raise your vibration. Choose peace and harmony in your thoughts and with others. I feel like this cancer is like stressing like i told you you're emotionally unraveling you know what i'm saying and it's in your thoughts and in your minds and in your emotions you need to choose peace and harmony because you hide and it's not bringing you peace it's time for you to create a brand new picture of victory for you be around people that love you baby only people that love you and accept you for who the fuck you are and don't nobody love you. I love you. I'm serious. Like, come on now. There's something and someone or situation that is just been clinging on to you or you've been clinging on to it. And right now, it's like you letting this shit grow. I mean, you letting it go. It's like you're not letting this shit grow on you no more. So it was something, someone, or a situation that has been trying to cling on to you and it's been trying to grow on you and you cutting that shit down, you don't want that shit growing on you no more. I feel like you made a brand new promise to yourself. You made a brand new promise to yourself in love. Y'all made a brand new promise to yourself in love that you're going you gonna to put what you want on your table for now on. I don't want y'all to hide. Like, I swear for God, please don't hide. You are only hurting yourself and you hurting other people. Don't hide. Anybody that is still ain't your friend, that don't want to be your family, aren't like, listen. That's why I said you're going through some tough shit. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Good shit. And don't forget this. Don't let your issues fuck this shit up. Some good shit is about to happen to you, Cancer. Can you please just be mature? Because I swear to God, once you're free, the people that really don't want to be your friends and don't, why the fuck you want to be around some people that you got to hide around anyway? Be real, just like, look, fuck it, I'm bisexual, or I'm gay, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, it don't matter. Here we go. Blue, please choose peace and tranquility and serenity over all. You are a butterfly. You are a butterfly, and you're indestructible. Listen, you are indestructible, but I feel like and somewhere deep in your mind, you don't believe that. You feel like this situation would destroy you. If you reach for, you know, what would truly bring you peace, you feel like it will, <clears throat> it would destroy you. That it would bring you bad luck. You know? I feel like it's a mystery and you wonder how things would happen if you was to go down that rabbit hole. But you, you feel like there's no protection there. There's no protection there. I feel like you go back to memories. Maybe there was a time, maybe there was a time in your life where you were free and you were just able to kind of be yourself. You know? Something about your memories, aromas. But when you go back to those memories during that time, you weren't.
being a service to these people that you feel like you got to cater to now. It's like. I feel like if you know what brings you serenity, I feel like it would destroy you mentally and it would destroy your environment. I feel like it would bring you a lot of misfortune, a lot of luck if you was to jump down that rabbit hole and try to be free. You feel like you wouldn't have any shelter, like maybe someone would put you out. And it's like you got bad memories of maybe a time before where you just tried a little bit to, to, to be who you wanted to be. And when you did that, people wouldn't take care of you anymore. But the key, unlock the key like you got the key. Black, lack, rebellion, pessimism. I feel like right now there's a lot of darkness. Like there's a lot of. It's like you're not doing anything about anything, but you're feeling rebellious. It's like you want to rebel out. But I feel like there's just been like a lot of negative thinking and you're not doing anything, but it's like you want to be rebellious. 333, three, three. Trinity, mind, body, and soul. You are in the zone. Express your true authentic self. You're not expressing your true authentic self. Listen, and your mind has been in the fucking clouds. Your mind has been in the clouds. You need to get your mind out of the clouds. Guardian angel. You need to get your mind out of the clouds. Your guardian telling it. Guardian and then it's followed up by spiritual realm. Your guardian angel is telling you to get your heads out of the clouds. I feel like I'll just be sitting back thinking a lot. And you're not grounded. Which is brown. You're not grounded. There's no stability. There's no true foundation up under you. You cannot just sit there and not do anything about it. Listen, you're not revealing your true self. You're not doing your you're not revealing your true self and by doing that, you're just weaving a bigger spider web for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're just weaving a bigger web for yourself where you really not gonna have no protection. I feel like you you were you were putting yourself in situations where you're, you're, it's like we can't protect you because of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't stand by that. You 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 see what I'm saying? If you just be your true authentic self, where we got you, like we applaud it. The more and more you keep hurting people, the more and more. You keep doing what you're doing and you're not being mature, being a snake. This is being hammered into your brain right now. And I know that some of y'all don't want to hear this or don't want to hear this about somebody. But y'all know deep down what I'm saying is true. New opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. It is coming your way soon. But you need to deal with your shit. Whoever this is that you enchanted with, be your truth, your whole truth, and nothing but your truth. So help you God. And I promise you, you'll probably be fucking surprised. You'll be surprised. Something tell me they're gonna love you anyway. Cause you a lovable motherfucker, but you gotta love yourself, cancer. Don't ever hide who you are for nobody. Whoever these people are. That you don't, you feel like wouldn't give you, there won't be no protection and there might be some shame there. Fuck them. Be around the people that love you, really love you. But how can we love you if you don't show us the real you? Give me guidance for my cancer. Tell me how my cancer, the person that they're enchanted with. Where's my dad enchanted card? Give me this. Give me this. The one that my baby cancer is enchanted with. Tell me how tell me how cancer feels. About the one they're enchanted with. I still remember the good times we shared. Like I told you, this is, uh-huh. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately, all right? 
You still take my breath away. Uh-huh, because cancer's still been looking at you. You've affected my life significantly, okay? I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. Yeah. Enchanted. Mm-hmm. Give me guidance about the one that cancer. Give me guidance about the hammer, the one that the beard, the one that. Give me can give me guidance about the one that cancer is hiding, the one that's being hammered into their head. Our connection affects me. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. My mind and my heart always comes back to you. We will be together again. Okay. So let's get some additional guidance and love. This situation involves a wedding. It looks like there might be a divorce or a breakup coming soon. Yeah, someone you don't trust. Someone you don't trust. You feel like this person flirts, is out flirting. And there's a there's codependency in this relationship that there's codependency there. That it's like you don't want this person clinging to you no more. I already told you that. It's a it I will remind you of a past life relationship or it's like it's telling you this is the part, yeah. It reminds you, reminds you of a past life relationship, and it says forgiving and learning. You're not for you're not forgiving yourself for something that you've done in a past life relationship, and you're not learning from it. You're still connected to codependent people. You're still attracting people. It looks like who cheat. In that you don't trust and that out flirting with a whole bunch of people. It's like either you're attracting that or you're doing this. Someone broke their wedding vows. It was distrust and flirting. I feel like there needs to be a separation, but it's someone still clinging on. And maybe someone's still clinging on to a past life relationship. Honeymoon. Oh, there was only like with this relationship, it was like a straight up honeymoon phase. You should have paid attention to the red flags. It was an unrequited love. Mm hmm. Whoever you're in this relationship with, the one that's trying to cling on to you, it was just a honeymoon phase. It was good for like maybe the first three to six months. And then you started to see them red flags. It's an unrequited love. This person is not trustworthy. They flirt too much. They play around too much. I mean, you could still be affected by a past life relationship that you're not learning from or whatever they are. But it's like, give me guidance. Clarify this love situation, please. Situation, please, for cancer. 
10. This shit went real crazy. And High Priestess in reverse. The Empress in reverse. <laughs> wow. Mm. Wow, um, I really do feel like that with this high priestess in. This the high priestess, yeah, this the high priestess in reverse. trust this person like yeah y'all been seeing this person flirting and don't like this person is promiscuous this person is holding it secret from you they could possibly be hiding a miscarriage from you or hiding the fact that they lied about a child or something like that it's like you see the the back the only thing you see is the chair we can't even tell that it's the empress this is the empress card right here you see that skull in the water Either this person snuck and had an abortion and is lying and saying that they're still pregnant or they never were pregnant or like this person is or this person was pregnant by somebody else and the baby is in chores. Like there's a secret regarding a baby and both of these cards kind of represent either a stillbirth or it could possibly not be someone's child you know what i'm saying this is like or that the person was never pregnant you know what i'm saying it's like ever this person the, the high priestess card in the reverse is a card of infertility and it's also a card of promiscuity and things like that and someone like high end being being out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person is out there. Like, this person doesn't really have morals. This person is sneaky. This person isn't beneath doing, like, magic and tricks and manipulation, too. So, this woman isn't beneath lying about a pregnancy or trying to, to pass off a baby like it's someone else's uh or, or you know what i'm saying like and, and hot like i i i i i feel like y'all are being given like the keys to a secret right now because like this is the secret coming out do you understand what i'm saying like either this isn't your baby this person had an abortion and didn't tell you about it and still trying to act like they're pregnant or they never were fucking pregnant because both of these are cards of stillbirths or the fact that someone lost a, preg a pregnancy or never was pregnant or hiding a secret behind a pregnancy because it may not be that person's child. Do you see what I'm saying? And this is the two of coins. Do you, it's like this person could have been juggling you and someone else in like the whole fucking world seeing it. And that might explain some of that embarrassment. Like, that might explain that embarrassment. Dear Lord Jesus. Uh-uh. We going Game of Thrones. And it's the last spread. And I'm getting the hell up out of here because this is crazy. This is crazy. This is absolutely fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is going on with all of this shit? It's like download shit is lying about babies or babies is cheating it is someone being enchanted is like spiritual intervention i can see why this cancer or whatever it is, is dealing with this cancer just feels they don't have no support in this world and they just feel exhausted it's too much going on it's like too much to bear I feel like the whole neighborhood knows what's going on with this. It's like you've been juggling all of these all of these problems in front of everyone. You know what I'm saying? And it's like 
you about to release something because it's like I can't I can't take this no more. Like I'm not and it's like this cancer feels like man, I'm not I'm not out here to entertain y'all and like y'all think this shit is funny, like all this shit that I'm going through is funny. This shit ain't funny. I feel like there's a lot of rumors, there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of drama going on. Yeah, the fool in the, in, in the reverse. Whatever is going on, I feel like cancer just don't have no faith. It's like they just, it's like they lost their faith. They're tired. They're exhausted. They don't feel support. They don't feel like anyone loves them or that they could truly be their self. They ain't got nothing to believe in. Like, that's honestly what I'm feeling. I... Queen of Swords, y'all might have been dealing with uh, a Gemini Libra or um, an Aquarius female, Cersei. Like, this woman was cold. This woman was treacherous. This woman could have been demeaning. I mean, we're talking about Cersei here. I can't think of Cersei and say any nice words about her. I just know that this woman is very smart. She's tactical and she's manipulative and she's a fucking killer. <laughs> That's all I know. Okay? Ace of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like whoever this Queen of Swords, like you don't have no faith for her. You feel like this person is a liar. This person is a liar. This person is a manipulator. You can't get any truth out of this person about anything. Two of Cups, but it's just like... You guys were trying to offer something to each other. And you felt like this was your soulmate, but something was illuminated about this person. But you feel like this person is lying to you. Something was illuminated to this person. And this is another child, child card, too. And there's some unhappiness there. And there's loss of hope. And it might have to do something with a child. A tower in reverse. Oh my God. Like yeah, there's an ending here with this with this air side woman. With Cersei. There's, there's an ending with this person. But it's just like y'all just keep trying to go back and patch shit up. But it's just like this shit needs to end. The moon. There's secrets coming out. There's go I'm trying to there's something about to come out about this child. Cause it's too many fucking child cards out here, yeah. Come on now. I wouldn't want to say this shit if this shit went on the fucking table. Like, come on. And it's like this cancer still feels like this person is their soulmate. They're still trying to hold on to this person, even though they 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 know that this person is lying. They know this person is a fucking liar. And they know that they're being a fucking fool, but they still keep being a fool. And it's like you don't even have any faith in this person. You don't even believe this person. You're not even happy. The shit about to hit the fucking fan. That's all I can say. Eight of cups and you going to walk away. And everybody going to watch you. Like you are going to be embarrassed. You going to be embarrassed. You see how everybody is watching you like walk away. Like it's just like oh my god. And you gonna walk away broke. It's like they're gonna be talking shit about you. Oh my god, the six of coins. And it's. <laughs> and whoever it is that you're dealing with, like these people, I feel like they're not gonna wanna help you. Like they're not gonna wanna give you no money. And you right, it's like. This bitch, Cersei, she might come out and tell everyone that you're gay or some shit like that and try to, like, embarrass you or something. Or she might come out and, like, try to tell lies about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, this woman might try to come out and tell lies about you. This person might try to come out and tell lies about you. Or shit might just come out and tell... The truth about you, some shit that you was trying to hide, and it's like, I thought that you, <laughs> I thought you loved me, like you ain't had to put me on blast like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's like, I feel like there's, and there's definitely there there's a sunset on this on this love, cause you look like a big ass fool out here. And you keep trying to go back and patch this shit up with this person. This person, you keep trying to patch shit up with a person that's holding a deep, dark fucking secret from you. 
And the love is unrequited. And once this shit come out, you gonna walk away. It's gonna be a spectacle for the whole neighborhood, for the whole fucking neighborhood. This bitch gonna be like, I ain't giving you no money, or you stole my money, or you was doing something to my money, or I ain't giving you no money, and you broke, like, it's gonna be, it's going to be, and you gotta remember we fucking with Cersei, and this is the king of coins right here. Like, this person gonna be, like, trying to put you on blast and try and say, like, you owe this person some money or something like that, and... Like you broke or that you be stealing or that you was trying to call out or something. It's just like every fucking thing that was going on in this situation did nine of swords in reverse. I, but I feel like the nightmare is going to be over. I mean like the wolf is going to be released. It's like you're finally going to be released out of this mental prison. That's for sure. It's like the nightmares are going to cease and it's going to end after this but it's going to be a big ass shakedown and you and you and you you possibly are going to walk away with no money and feeling like you don't have no support but these people that you were hanging around with were they really any support to you anyway they're like just people that you hang around on the block just people that you hang around in the bar with these are low lives these people don't do shit anyway you're better than these people. I feel like there's people, like, if you stand up for being your truth, just be whoever the fuck you are. And I honestly, I don't even think this person is really gay. Like, if anything, I feel like this person might be bisexual or just fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, and who fucking cares? I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? I feel like you were hanging with the wrong people anyway. You're hanging around the wrong people anyway. And you're the magician. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a lot of bullshit with you, but at the same time, you are very powerful. You have a lot of tools and you have a lot of resources that are inside of you. And at the end of the day, you needed to be separated from this pack because you got a certain special energy and power within you. that you, You're different from these motherfuckers. You probably look better, dress better, keep more money in your pocket than they do. These are bar bombs. The fuck? Like, I just, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, you know how to get out there and get it. Like, you know. Like, you know. Hangman. I feel like God had to, like, by force, show you that, listen, you need to kind of just relinquish your power to me and just let me let certain shit, let, let certain chips fall where they may. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you kind of released your power to the universe. You released it to God and just like, God, God, you give and you take it away. Like whatever, just, I got, listen. And I feel like when you relinquished your power, it allowed you to truly rest. Realize that you do have some support. Regenerate your energy, and I feel like you were able to see things from a different angle. You know? Not only that, I feel like it really got you away from a lot of fucked up people. I feel like it got you away from a lot. You were with fucking Cersei. Knight of Swords, yeah. You definitely gonna be cutting your way to fuck up out of this situation that you hung up in with all of these people. You're using that magician energy like it don't matter whatever these people talking shit. It's like you like, yeah, whatever. You talking shit, but I look good and I smell good, nigga. Fuck y'all. <laughs> like you cutting yourself out from being hung up on this situation. With all of them. With all of them. All of them. All of them. Y'all motherfuckers ain't slicker than me anyway. Y'all motherfuckers can't pull the fucking cons and the scams and the tricks and the shit. Y'all can't y'all can't work like me anyway. <laughs> One more card. Ooh, the love is in reverse. There ain't no love lost, ain't no love gained. There's no honor amongst thieves. No honor amongst thieves. I feel like at the end of this shit, you realize that, you know, you're right. 
there wasn't any true support there. Because you were hanging around a whole bunch of fucking people that didn't deserve to be around you anyway. And you are what you eat. You hang around low lives, you start acting like a fucking low life. Mm hmm God rescued you, rescued you from this. I feel like you don't feel like you have protection. You had protection the whole time. You had support the whole time. You feel like, oh, my life is going down the drain. Everything is crazy as hey, why? No, this is God cleaning up shit for you so that you could be who God made you to be. Your destiny. It's something that you feel enchanted by. It's something that you felt peace and serenity. It's something that you want to go back to that you feel truly was you. You want to go back to your final destination somewhere that when you were there, you had a feeling, but I feel like you wasn't trusting your intuition. I feel like by force, God had to put you through all of this. All of this. God had to put you through all of this. The gossip, the ridicule, the rumors, Cersei, feeling like a fool, going through emotional turmoil. And teach you how to grab your damn sword. And you going back to memories and you and you you smelling aromas, things that made you think about when life was better, when you was happy, when you were the freest that you could have ever been. Being around people that really loved you and allowed you to just be you. It's time to go back there, baby. Walk away. Walk away and stay away. Alright. It's time to go back to that final destination. Look, Cancer, okay, so this has been y'all reading. I hope that this has been eye-opening for y'all. And by no means am I ever... Because... to Listen. No means will I ever in my life... Say anything... Uh, disrespectful from um, towards anybody in the LGBT community. I support y'all and I support people being who the fuck they are. And y'all should allow people to be who they are. And the only thing that people do wrong is by hiding. You know? Surround yourself by, around people that truly accept you and love you. Because like I said, when you don't stand in your truth and be who you are. Not only are you hurting inside, but you are hurting other people. And you're attracting drama into your life. You understand what I'm saying? Always be true to you. Because I don't know if anyone is, has ever told you. But if you don't love yourself, how can anybody truly love you? You know? So love yourself. Love yourself. And if don't nobody love you, I love you. Alright? Y'all inbox me if y'all need to talk. You know, I know I'll be busy sometimes, but I will find some time to talk to y'all. You know what I'm saying? If it's not a, a reading, you just like, look, Rez, I just need somebody to talk to. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Just put that shit in the comments, and I got you. As soon as I get certain shit calmed down a little bit, I got y'all. I don't want y'all to ever feel like I don't want y'all to ever feel like y'all alone. And it's somebody that don't understand what it is that you're facing and what you're going through. And you feel like you don't have no shelter and stuff like that. Listen. I just went on a big rant earlier today. About Young Thug. So, if you feel like you ain't got nobody in your corner that understand that, I understand. And I've dated someone in the past. Um, shoot. <laughs> and if you, the person that I'm talking about, if you was to see this man, he looked like a big, big street thug. You know what I'm saying? Big six foot three, big, ugh, you know, like a big old football player. And he was closeted. And it's just like, 
But I always asked him from the beginning. I was just like, bruh, like, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. And he always lied about it because he comes from a real religious family background. Like, his family owns a church. And I don't care what he says. Well, I listen. I'm not even going to go into the meat and potatoes of that situation. Only thing I'm going to say is that he could have just... He could have just told me who he was from jump when we started dating. I'm not saying that I would have uh, stayed in the relationship with him. But that would mean him would have probably still be best friends. And if he ain't had no one that loved him, protected him, and understood him, he would have had a friend in me. It's the way that, you, it's the way that he went about it. He didn't give me an option. He didn't give me a choice. You know what I'm saying? He didn't give me a choice. So, and I want you guys to give yourself a chance to choose happiness and freedom. Shit, sometimes y'all got to save up a little bit of money, pack your shit up and go move to a whole nother town where you can start over somewhere and just be you. Do that. Dare to be free. I love y'all. I know this video is long, but I'm sorry this one got deep, y'all. This one got deep. You know, they said some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fucked up. And I think your only issue is, is that you're hiding. You're hiding. And they go to destiny card. Follow your heart. You know where your destiny lies. Stop suffering silence. Go towards your destiny. That final destination where you know you really want to be at. Where you know you want to be in true happiness for the rest of your life. You want to have that support and everything. Cancer, I love you. Peace.